And now all new at five, the bleachers at one high school football field in Lorain County have been condemned. This after one man's foot pushed right through the floorboard. The lack of seating throwing a wrench in Wellington High School's senior night plans. Derek Wallers and Wellington Forest were school leaders making some tough last minute choices. Well, this is pretty scary. That man's foot was actually dangling all the way near the top of those stands. The floorboard has now been replaced, but the stairs to the bleachers has now been roped off. But the game will go on. It's after school, and the Duke's varsity football team are lifting weights, getting ready for Friday night's away game. But it's next Friday's home game players are really worried about. The last chance for graduating seniors to play on their home turf against a big rival. It's kind of emotional. At the same point, it's really heartwarming that our biggest game of the year is the most important game of the year, and it's senior night, too. And right now, there's nowhere for hundreds of expected fans to sit. Yeah, as you can see, that board's been replaced. Since. School superintendent Dennis Mock shows us where one man's foot came right through the wooden floorboard. It happened during the last home game two Fridays ago. Since then, an insurance adjuster checked out the stands and said it was so unsafe he refused to insure it. We've got to protect the fans and, uh, you know, make sure that uh, the facility's safe. The metal structure underneath is still sound. Mock tells me replacing the 45-year-old wooden boards with new aluminum will cost about $80,000. So for a short-term fix, he's looking at renting stands for about two grand, Or for an experience no one will forget, Fans could be asked to bring their own seats. If we do go to lawn chairs and standing room only, they'll probably remember that more than they will anything else about the game, unfortunately. <laughs> so the bathrooms and the concession stands underneath the bleachers will remain open, and I'm told a small number of people will be allowed to go up here to operate the press box and the school board. Now, the district is facing some tough budget times. They actually just got rid of more than two dozen teaching positions, but I'm told the money to replace these bleachers will actually come from a separate permanent maintenance fund. In Wellington, I'm Derek Waller, News Channel 5.